It's Murphy, Sam, and Jody after the show. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about Eddie Money. He died Friday, and we touched on it a little bit, of course, and um, – I want to make the case for why Baby Hold On mm. is one of the greatest rock songs of all time. And we should establish, for anybody that doesn't know, Eddie Money was a, a pop rock icon in the 70s and 80s. I mean, he was still active literally until his passing. It's such yeah. a great voice. And, you know, this song has always existed in my mind. Like, I, I don't remember when it was new. I was a little kid when it was new, but... Um, we the last time we mentioned it because our daughter Phoebe loves Eddie Money. She had a very difficult weekend. She was very upset that he died. Um, <clears throat> she just recently discovered him six months ago or a year mm-hmm. ago or something like that. And so Murphy bought her an, a, a, the, that Eddie Money album, and she does play it on her little record player. It's one of the she loves Bowie too. She's a very retro rock girl. He's yeah. dead too. I know she knows Thanks, that Sam. too. <laughs> She's aware of that too. Um, Anyway, I remember the, when we brought him up, when we talked about him recently, I think when he first made that cancer diagno- diagnosis announcement. Mm-hmm. You, Which was only like two weeks ago, right? right? I mean, we were was, talking about the song, Baby, Hold On, and I said, what a great song it is. It just makes me feel so wow. And you said, Sam, I never listened to the words. I mean, other remember than that? Baby, Hold On to Me, whatever will be, will be. I don't know the words. This is one of the greatest songs probably written in pop music ever. For a couple of reasons. I'm going to make my case right now. Number one, it and sounds... And I do, I, by the way, I trust Jody implicitly with all lyrics, Sam, as you know. Well, so. you, you, it's one of those driving songs. You crank it up. It yeah. feels good. The music feels like something you want to be a part of. When that's on, you just automatically want to turn it up. But what I'm telling you is the words are beautiful. It's basically this man, and I want you guys to go back and listen to the words now. He's saying, we've been together a long time. I know that it's not what you dreamed, but don't give up on what we've built already. He's mm-hmm. begging her to stay. Mm. Guys, it's a great song. It is. Well, I mean, since you told me to actually go listen to it. <laughs> I don't know why. I did, you, what, and I get it. You guys, it's like, to, how could you listen to, it would be like watching a movie with the mute I on. I about it. I just, it, it's the music. It's, it's No, it's a message, too. The music is perfect, and it, it makes it perfect. It dresses it up. Yeah. It's the the think, message is seriously good. Like, I know you're thinking about leaving. I know you've been talking about me behind my back. But please don't leave me because look at what we could, we, we've already invested so much in. It's amazing. I've never heard any of that oh, song. Oh, it's so well, great. You know, I mean, and it is, it, it is a great song. I, maybe it's because when I was a kid, when I was little, little, I don't think I knew Boys all the words. Boys not and, sentimental like that. Right, and so I just didn't catch stories. It wasn't until later in life. You to know what me, I mean? that, music... So, is stories. I listen to the and words. It is, and most people do. That's why people connect with music. It What's tells funny a story, is, I feel like it, maybe it's a, the girls in the backseat growing up with us, Murphy. Mm-hmm. When I was driving them around, and we would be listening to songs, they would stop me and go, "Mom, hey, ha- pause that. What? What mm-hmm. is she saying here? What does this mean?" They were always asking because they were wondering what it meant. They're looking for the story. Yeah, they're like me. Well, and, and what cracks, I know Jody's always listened to, st- to lyrics of stories because Keith Urban, for example, mm, she says, you need it. to listen to Stupid Boy. It's a great song you need to, because when you get to the end of the song, it turns out he's, he's the, the stupid, stupid boy. boy. I'm like, he's okay, the one. I do. I understand it. You don't know that, Sam, because that's way too. <laughs> and actually, <laughs> I did lyrics. have to, to listen to that. But, you know, I mean, things that are, you know, a little easier for me to understand, uh, you know, were songs from the 80s like, you know, you're too shy. Yeah. Come on, girl, get a little closer. You're too shy. Yeah. I, I mean, I get, get it. That. I understand it's that. All, about it. All, day all I'm long. saying is that I baby, want candy. You know, she wants candy. Baby, hold on is simple. You just have to listen. So the next time you listen to it, which I recommend right now in a minute here, mm-hmm. um, instead of listening for the music, listen to the words that he's singing. It's beautiful. Well, and he is, Favorite. He is pleading best. when you actually. Listen to the lyrics, you realize he's, <laughs> he, you know, see, he's, the he's future is ours to see when you hold, hold on, on to me. me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't throw it away. We've invested. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And the way he sings it, I believe him. Don't be I, thinking about what's not enough. Thinking, thinking about, about what, what we got. got. Oh. Is it true you might want a better life? Is it true you think these things are all lies? Think right. about it, baby. I'm going to take you to the top. Yeah. That's a great mm-hmm. song. I almost Rest feel like peace. crying now. Does it, yeah, does it make sense to you now? And I want you guys to understand going forward when you hear, when you meet people who think, oh, this is a great song. If you meet somebody and a song means something to them, 
chances are it's because of what the meaning of the song is. Mm-hmm. It, it is all a story. I, I guess it's it's weird what songs stick and what don't. And so, like iconic songs that are you know that have Baby been around Hall's forever iconic. and ever. I mean, it is iconic, but like the Beatles, "Yesterday." Okay, so that's a song that a bazillion people have sung a million times. I get it lyrically; it is an extremely easy song to understand, mm-hmm. and so I get it. It's never been a question on those. I guess it was just some of the rock stuff that I was when I was really little in the in the late seventies and the you early eighties. That didn't. It's not that deep. You just never listened for the words. I was listening for music. Right. If you change that, a whole new world of music will open up for you.